Hello, my old school soul food family chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm still on my summertime breading mixes, and y'all know I love my Kikamon anything. Kikamon makes the best product. You see, I got the tempura tap batter Kikamon. Now, I've did tempura shrimp, I did tempura halibut, I did tempura cob. But today, I'm making some fish and chips with some catfish, y'all. I actually bought this catfish I already filleted at the store. So it's absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna have put me some crinkly french fries in my air fryer to my right with the left, which you can't see. My right, your left. And then I'm gonna fry me some beer battered fish here, another one in my fryer here. And we're gonna have some fish and chips with some collard salt, just like they serve on the Las Vegas trip. I guess I'm getting ready for a trip in Las Vegas I'm going to next month. You ever get in Las Vegas? Go to Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chips. They have the absolute best fish and chips I've ever tasted in my life. They pretty much fry it when you get there. It's nice, light, flaky, hot. The fries are perfectly seasoned. Absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna kind of do a spin off on that. So anyway, I'm gonna set the catfish to the side here. And what I'm gonna do, I got my fry heating up. But what I need to do, I need to make the tempura batter first. Y'all know how I do it. I use complete ice water. See, I got ice cubes in this water. So I'm gonna take these ice cubes out. Yeah, I stuck my hand in the water, y'all. My hands are completely clean. I washed them yesterday. Oh, was it the day before yesterday? Anyway, I washed them the last couple of days, so they're clean. So anyway, a lot of people not gonna get that. Somebody gonna get mad. But anyway, I'm gonna take, make sure you use completely ice cold water, y'all. And I'm gonna use about a cup of this gonna use a cup to cut a cup of batter to a cup of uh here mix a cup of batter to a cup of water so you're gonna use that's pretty much it y'all a little bit more in here you don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin and that's it y'all i'm gonna let that kind of sit i like to let mine sit maybe 30 minutes and that's perfect timing because I just cut on my deep fryer. It takes about 30 minutes for it to heat up. So anyway, we'll be right back. We're going to season our catfish off. Matter of fact, we'll do that right now. We'll put this batter to the side here. The only season I'm going to put on here is... Like some big feet, y'all. I'll knock y'all offline. Knock y'all offline there. I'm like Kenna, y'all. I knocked my tripod out of the way. I got some big feet. Okay. Put a little cavern is there. And I'm gonna use my shake. My Uncle Steve shake. Sweet air spice here, aka old school shake. Okay, we're gonna turn it over on the other side. Turn over here. And we're gonna season the other side really good. A little shake on the other side. And that's pretty much it, y'all. We're gonna let that hang out right there until my fry heats up to the batter. My tempura batter kind of uh, sets up a little bit. And we're gonna be back. We're gonna fry these fish and chips. I'm gonna get my fry going in the fry. Fry going in the fry. I'm gonna get my fries going in the air fryer and hopefully things come together at the same time. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all. Now, let's get this party started here. All right, I got my fish there. Now, all I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna toss it in the, I got tempura batter, dry tempura batter in the Ziploc. And you want to have, you can use flour too, but I like to use the, the same batter that I bread it in. And you want to dust it in some kind of flour so the, the mix can stick. If you don't put this, if you don't have no flour in the thing, the batter will not stick, will not stick, will not stick <laughs> to the fish. And just stick it into the batter. Hold it over, to, hold it over the fryer or your skillet. Put it in just like that. Them all here. Try to put them all in at the same time, much as possible, y'all. Here. 
man. And I got my fry on about 370, y'all. But you know, once you put the fish in there, the fry gonna, the temperature gonna go down. All right, the other one in here. And the last one. Okay. We're gonna let that do its thing about 10, 15 minutes. I got, like I said, I got my fries already cooking and we will be back here in about, like I say, 10, 15 minutes. Let's move this around, y'all. I got it in the basket. You like to put it right in the fryer. Got it right in the basket so it's kind of sticking there. All right, let it do its thing. We'll be back here in about 10, 15 minutes. We're going to see how this is. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. And look at this here. Nice, crispy. Yeah, absolutely amazing, y'all. Look at that. Nice, crispy fish and chips. Not fish and chips yet. I got my fries almost ready. See how pretty that is? Look at that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step off here again, y'all. I got my fries. It's not quite ready yet. They take longer than the fish. That's how quick the fish, that's how quick the process is with the fish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step off, get my fries heated up, get this all plated up. I'm gonna even use some store-bought tartar sauce. Y'all use store-bought tartar sauce? Try this craft, y'all. I'm telling you, it's all easy this summer, y'all. Not about easy, shortcuts, and everything. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna step off, I'll be right back. And we're gonna sample us some good old tempura fried catfish, aka fish and chips. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. It is time to eat, y'all. Get me a fork here as I speak. Oh my god, look at that, y'all. Can y'all see it? Can you see the love? Can you see the goodness there? Look at that. Okay, let me get a little piece here. Give me a little corner piece right here. Oh my God, I can tell you how hot it is, how perfectly cooked it is, how flaky it is. See how flaky that fish is, look at that. See the heat coming off of that? Dip it into this tartar sauce, look at that. Y'all can have the first bite. Look at this. Mm, 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 mm. Light, crispy, perfectly seasoned. Listen to this, listen to this. Everybody be quiet. Y'all in the back, be quiet. Listen to this. How crispy that is. Mm, 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 mm. Bite here. And then when the camera go off, you know I'm gonna get serious about this. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. You know better than this, y'all. Wow. Well, I'm telling y'all, you ever, I'm not afraid I've eaten a lot of fish and chips in my life, a lot of different restaurants, but Gordon Ramsay, fish and chips right there on Link Promenade, right by the Link Hotel, go try that fish and chips. Absolutely amazing, y'all. It's a die for it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. So, anyway, y'all, uh, another fish segment in the book. I don't know if it's going to be a TGIF. I got videos all over the place right now. But really, seriously, look into the Kikamon product, y'all. They make awesome products. Kikamon, y'all yeah, have seen one I did previously with the coconut uh, mix. They got with the breadcrumb, amazing. Of course, y'all know they make great soy sauce. They they famous for their soy sauce. And this tempura batter, as you've seen in previous video, you can go on anything: shrimp, cod, halibut. Put it on flounder. You can actually put it on chicken. I need to do a video on the tempura chicken. Let me know if y'all want to see one on tempura chicken. So they can definitely do tempura crusty. Chicken fingers is absolutely amazing. So, anyway, y'all, I love y'all. Let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, 
and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. It's old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.